What's up guys, Mike the Coder here. Today we are going to talk about the next problem of Sphere Online Judge. Okay, so this problem is called Army Strength. Basically, you're given the strengths of the monsters of two armies, right? So you're given two armies. One is called Godzilla. The other one is called Mechazilla. Okay, so um, in each battle, the weakest monster of both of these armies are killed, right? So the weakest monster of both armies is, are killed. Um, if there are several weakest army, uh, weakest monsters, but all of them are in the same army, at the, basically they're saying all of them are the same value in your army, right? Then one of them at random is killed, okay? If both armies have at least one of the weakest monsters, then a random monster of Mechazilla's army is killed. Okay, the war is over if in one of the armies all of the monsters are dead. Uh, if all the monsters are dead in one of the army, the other army won. Okay, so basically I'll, I'll explain the test cases, what that means right now. So um, let's say in one test case, the first test case is you have 1-1. One, one. So in this case, as you see here, in this case, um, what's going to happen is that uh, all these, the weakest monster is they're all in the same army, right? So then, um, yeah, but in this case, if both, both armies have at least one weak monster, okay? So in this case, uh, let's say this is one is going to be at Godzilla, right? Godzilla's army. And this one's Mechazilla. Okay? So each uh, this one and one are monsters, right? This one is in Godzilla's army. This one is in Mechazilla's army. So if both of them have the, the same weak monster, then what's going to happen is that from this case, it says that a random weakest monster of Mechazilla's army is killed. So in this case, it's just going to kill off this one. And because Mechazilla's army lost, has no more, no more monsters here, Godzilla wins. So Godzilla wins. So that's why in this output, the output is Godzilla. All right, now, now let's look at the other test case. The second test case is one, three, two, and five, five, right? So in this case, we have got, uh, one, three, two is Godzilla, and this one is Mechazilla. Okay, so in this case, what it's uh, what it's going to do? Remember, the weakest monster of them both is killed off. So one is the weakest monster of both Godzilla and Mechazilla, so this is killed off. Two is the weakest monster of Godzilla and Mechazilla, so this is killed off. Three is the weakest monster from Godzilla and Mechazilla, so three is killed off. In the end, Godzilla has no more, no more monsters, so Godzilla loses, and Mechazilla wins. So that's why the answer for that one is Mechazilla, Mecha Godzilla, yeah, Mecha Godzilla. Okay, so I think you guys should see the pattern of how to, how to solve this problem. So if you if you want to solve this problem, what you would do is that you would actually sort both of them. So remember, you have one, three, two, five, five, right? So I'm going to sort one, three, two. So it's going to have one, two, three, and then five, five. I'm going to sort to have five, five. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use two pointers. First one is going to start at one, uh, the first value of Godzilla, and the second one is going to start at the value of Mechazilla. At five okay now if um, if the value at um, Godzilla is less than the value of Mechazilla I'm actually going to move the pointer of Godzilla upward by one so I'm gonna take this down and I'm gonna move it to the next one and this is basically uh, what this is doing is it's gonna remove the value we don't technically have to remove it from the array we're just gonna move the pointer up okay to showcase that we are the, that we're removing it, okay? Then uh, if this value of Godzilla, the value at the Go Godzilla is, uh, is greater, is, uh, is less than the value at Mechazilla, which in this case two is less than five. So I'm gonna move it up again. So I'm gonna move the pointer down and up to three. So then what this is doing is it's gonna remove two and it's gonna go to three, okay? So basically what I'm doing is I'm, Every time I have a value, I'm going to compare the values from the values from the 
Godzilla's array and the values from Mechazilla's array. And the smaller one, I'm going to, whichever has a smaller value, I'm going to move that pointer upwards. Okay. And then in this case, three at the end, three is less, so less than five. So this pointer gets moved upward again. Now, once I finish looping through the, the array, that basically means it's over, right? That means that uh, if I moved all the way past through one of the arrays of Godzilla, that means that Godzilla lost, right? Godzilla is empty. So in this case, I'm going to print out Mechazilla. Mechazilla one. Okay. Now let's actually go back to a case of now one one. So now uh, go back to the going back to the case of one one of Godzilla and Mechazilla. In this case, we have the first pointer pointing down at Godzilla. The next one pointing at Mechazilla. Okay. Um, is the value at Godzilla less than the value of Mechazilla? No, it's not. So, uh, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually move the pointer of Mechazilla up by one. Okay. So because I moved the pointer of Mechazilla up by one, that means that Mechazilla lost. Like it, we remove this value. And because we're at the end of the array, Mechazilla lost, so Mechazilla's gone, and then Godzilla wins. So that's that's the reason why Godzilla wins here. So that's basically the gist of the algorithm, how you would solve this problem. Sort it, then use two pointers, and then maintain the tracking of the smaller value in each array. Whichever is a smaller one, just move the pointer up. Um, by the time you get to the end of the, of the array and any of one, the values of any of them, what, what that means is that it's over, and then we just... Uh, return whichever won and whichever lost. And I think I have the code for that. Uh, hold on. I'm going to show you guys the code now. I think uh, army strength. I think I, I'm pretty sure I had a code for this. Let me see if I could go back to, oh, status, my status. Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah. So the, the value I got AC'd. So here I'm going to show you guys the code. All right. Um, so yeah. Okay, so the the problem about the code is that uh, whoops. Problem about the code is that uh, the test cases are really formatted strangely. So if you go back to the test cases, uh, there's like spaces uh, between each test case. So that means you have to ignore the line. There's like a, a line between each te each test case. So you have to ignore that. So for that, um, first yeah, I had to read in. T, which is the number of test cases. Then for that, I did C and dot ignore to ignore line. Um, and I actually could go back and open a new tab. And then I could show you guys what I mean by that. So in, in this case, if you look at the, the input statement, there's a there's there's a test case of after the first line of the test case, there's an enter a blank, a blank line. So we have to have, we have to ignore that when reading. So that's why I did C and dot ignore after the first line of reading T. Then what I did was while t is like greater than zero, that means while my test cases, well, I also have test cases, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna actually read a string input, and uh, the reason why I read in string input is because uh, after each test case, there's always a weird blank line. See the weird blank line here, each of these test cases. So I have to actually check for that, otherwise I'm gonna end up reading in a blank line as in one of the numbers. So for that, I read in the string input. I did get line C in input and that reads in the line. Then I check if it's uh, empty. So if this string was empty, right, then I just continue, right? Uh, I don't actually keep reading in more lines. I, I skip this line. So by doing continue, I go back to the top of the test case and then I read in the next line. Now, if it's not empty, which means it has numbers. So in this case, there's one, one here. Um, then at, for that, I'm gonna read in the values that of that into my two numbers. So because I already read in the line of input of my line of my string of input, I'm going to put that into two variables called n and m. So I'm going to use ssscanf, which basically takes your string and um, converts this based on like your space into two in, uh, two numbers. So in this case is a percent d is a placeholder for a number and percent D is a pl another placeholder holder for another number. So in this case, it basically takes the string, 
and it reads those value the, this the string that we have here one one and it puts those into two variables called n and m. So I do that here n and m. Then um, for that, those two variables represent the size of the array that I'm going to read in for Godzilla and Mechazilla. So for that, I create two two uh, vectors. Both have a long long ll is long long right. And they have Godzilla and Mechazilla. So for each of them, I'm going to loop through them and I'm going to basically keep reading. Godzilla, 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 and Mechazilla, 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 right? Over and over again, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort both Godzilla and Mechazilla, like we talked before. And then I'm going to have two pointers. The first one is i is equal to zero, and this points at the first value of Godzilla's array. Uh, the second one is int j is equal to zero, and this is going to point to the first value of Mechazilla, okay? So now what I'm going to do is while my values of my i, of my index for my Godzilla, Array, my pointer of that is less than the end of the array, right? While it's less than the end of the array, and while my other pointer j is less than the end of the array of Mechazilla, I'm going to do my, my now. I'm going to do my comparison. So I'm going to compare the value of Godzilla and the first value of Mechazilla. So both of these values, and uh, whichever is the smaller one. So in this case, Godzilla is smaller than Mechazilla. I'm going to increase Godzilla's pointer of i plus plus. Otherwise, I increase the pointer of Mechazilla, J++, and that does that. Okay, at the end, what I need to do is I need to check uh, the value of which one actually won and which one actually lost. So in this case, if my Mechazilla reached the end of its array, that means Mechazilla lost, right? So if my pointer of my, Me of my Mechazilla reached the end of the array, it means Mechazilla lost, so I print out Godzilla. Otherwise, I print out Mechazilla. So that means that the Godzilla won. Okay, after we're done done with this, we need to subtract one by the, yeah, we have to subtract one from our test cases because that means we're done with that test case. And then um, I do C and dot ignore because I have to ignore the next enter line, right? So in this case, there's another enter line uh, and another blank line for some reason. So I have to ignore that also. So yeah, this ignores the next blank line. And that's pretty much the gist of the code. I hope you guys understood my explanation. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.